Welcome back, this is the Amajack, and today we got uh, Gunslinger, Pallet Town, Suicidal. That uh that I say at the beginning of every video, it's like habit. I'm not actually like stalling for time, trying to think about what to say. It's habit. I'm, I'm doing it because that's a part of the script. The mission is underway. Strange, I know. But before a lot of videos, I think to myself, maybe I should change the intro this time, you know, go for something a little bit different. Or, or maybe try and do something a little bit funny, and I'll, I'll like plan out this intro, and I'll be like, Hey yo, what up? It's your girl back again with another video of Killing Floor 2. We got, and I'm like, you know, trying to like put on some kind of thing and make people think that like I've gone absolutely insane, and then pull it back. And then I start recording, and I'm just like, Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we got another video of uh, Gunslinger Pallet Town. Suicidal, thank you so much for being here. You know, I, 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 um, it's a problem, you know? Not for you, it's, it's probably a good thing for you because you get annoyed less frequently, but it's a problem for me because I don't get to annoy you. And, uh, I don't know how I find fulfillment in my life if I don't get to, uh, always be, you know, just kind of perpetually perpetuating perpetual annoyances, you know? If I can't do that, then I just, I don't really get what the point of life is. They kind of go hand in hand for me. Anyway, it's, uh, the 30th of December. Talked about it recently, but it's coming up real close to 2021 now. Real dang close. It's exciting, I guess, if, if you care about that. I don't, really. Um, you know, you get to fail a new New Year's resolution, and you get to, you know, experience the new year, and you get to feel like, uh, when well, you get to get drunk, I guess. That's, that's a benefit, of course, right? Um, if you're of age, of course. But, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not a super exciting day for me. I'm kind, I'm kind of excited, but it's, uh, there's this kind of, like, anticipation that I have but then when I try to like understand it or like feel it or or like be like excited about it it just kind of disappears it fades away as so I'm like yeah but it's just another day you know January 1st comes and, and I'm still like <laughs> kind of locked inside my house not really able to leave um, you know we're still quarantined we're, there's still a pandemic going on we have like vaccines and stuff now but they're kind of scary themselves and uh, we have like a, a new like strain of, of COVID nearby as well. So like, you know, whatever vaccine we've got, I'm not sure how much it's gonna be useful because uh, you know, uh, is it gonna work on the new strains? They don't know. They barely even know if it's gonna work on the current strain that we know of, you know? Like, there hasn't been nearly enough testing done to be confident about anything besides uh, Reasonably confident that most people will probably not die <laughs> From the some people might is the thing I, th I think there's like uh, a problem with like nut allergies or something like that and and possibly other allergies Like it's <laughs> it's a terrifying thing, right? Like vaccines are, are safe, but that's only because they spend more time than COVID has existed You know COVID-19 anyway um, they, they spend more time then it's been alive, happening, been, been a problem uh, on, on like, vetting them, you know? And, and that can't possibly have been done by now, so... But um, I'm sure it's, 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 you know, safe enough that uh, it's, it's... I mean, ultimately, you know, you, you pick your poison. You want a vaccine that's probably safe, or you want COVID that's definitely not, you know? Like, <laughs> pick your poison. It's, uh... Definitely the vaccine, but... Yeah, you know, 2021 comes around. It's not like anything really changes, right? We just get to, to say we're in 2021. We get to have a period of time where we continue saying it's 2020, and we're like, oh, wait, no, it's not any 20. It's not 2020 anymore. That's right, it's 2021 now. We get to have uh, Mr. Beast, I think, is making the YouTube Rewind this year. Because YouTube decided they weren't going to do it, and Mr. Beast was like, I'm going to do it instead. I'm like, alright, probably be better than <laughs> whatever YouTube would have done. They haven't been doing too great on the YouTube rewinds lately. They probably took this uh, this opportunity to, like, 
reasonably, quote unquote, get out of uh, making the YouTube rewind. They probably took it as a as a pretty happy opportunity to to be like, yep, yeah, we just don't have to do it anymore. We don't have to like face that kind of backlash from you know messing it up again. They they're probably pretty pleased about it. <laughs> um, but Mr. Beast is apparently making a uh, YouTube Rewind. I'm kind of excited for it. I think he'll do a much better job, honestly. I mean, really what's going to end up happening is he's just going to pay a bunch of people to make it. But, you know, those people are going to be like... that. That's like actually YouTube people making it, you know what I mean? So I, I think it'll be largely better. But then at the same time, it's kind of like, you know, how do you really do it? Like, you can't, you can't have like a big party full of people, right? I mean, I guess you could if everybody gets, like, COVID tests beforehand or something, which, I don't know, maybe they do that? I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, we get to, we get to watch that, perhaps. Um, and then there's gonna be all sorts of meme videos coming out. You know, Gus Johnson's probably gonna do some kind of meme video for 2021, and Mr. Beast will probably have a meme video for 2021, and... Yeah, everybody's gonna be doing stupid stuff on 2021, and it's gonna be all the rage for like a week or two. All of your coworkers are gonna be calling in sick on uh, New Year's Day, of course. But I mean, ultimately, it's it's a day like any other, right? Anyway, I had a topic I wanted to talk about, kind of. I was talking recently about how uh, I have to have something kind of like prepared for when I eventually make my post to the uh, the Minecraft subreddit, something that's going to be able to like kind of capture people's attention. And I've come up with an idea for it. I'm not going to talk about it because I don't want to spoil it, but I think I finally came up with an idea for it, so I've, I've been putting some, some effort into kind of planning it now, I guess. I haven't gotten a response back from the mods. They seem to be ignoring me, um, and I'm not going to keep spamming them because they got stuff to do. It's not like they're getting paid for it, right? I don't think. Um, so I don't want to bother him too much. Um, I would have liked the response, though, you know? It would have been nice if they could have just... But it's okay. It's okay. I'm still trying to post stuff to the subreddit, like pictures and stuff. I haven't, uh, I haven't figured out the algorithm for it yet. You know, different subs, you got you got different kind of content that people enjoy, right? And I'm not sure what kind of content the Minecraft sub enjoys. I don't know what like time is the best time to post things. I've been I've been experimenting a little bit, changing up the uh, the type of content that I post and trying to make things happen. Hasn't been going too great yet, but in time I'll, I'll, I'll I think I'll figure out there what makes them tick. Um, what else? I had something else I wanted to talk about, but it's gone now, dude. It's gone. Just totally gone. Oh, yes. Uh, so I order sushi, like, reasonably frequently. Uh, I love sushi. And there are two restaurants that I will order sushi from. Or that I, I used to order sushi from, anyway. Spoiler alert. Um, can I be seen? Can I be seen? Can I be seen? Can I be seen? Am I in the, am I in the picture? Maybe? No. Um, there, there are two restaurants that I would order from before, and, uh, they, they, they like the same thing, right? Like, they, they're both sushi restaurants, they both got whatever type of sushi you want, it's, it's gonna be available there. Like, whatever your favorite sushi is, it's there, right? Like, it's a sushi restaurant, they got the sushi stuff, and rice, and miso, and tempura, and, you know, whatever other kind of junk you want, right? So, uh, they're open at, like, different days and different times and stuff. So if I wanted to order on, like, a Monday, I'd have to order from one. And if I wanted to order on a Wednesday, I'd have to order from another. They're, they're one, the the one on Wednesdays is, is definitely my preferred. <clears throat> it's uh, it's Akami Sushi and then Sushiya, by the way. <clears throat> um, oop, ow, that hurt. I just, like, moved my foot and then, like, sliced my nail my toenail on a light keyboard tray. That was painful. Uh, anyway, um, so it's Akami Sushi and then Sushi yeah. And Akami Sushi used to be my favorite, 
because the sushi menu looked a little bit like funky and a little bit weird and a little bit strange and it kind of scared me i was like i don't know i like akami sushi i'm not gonna like don't mess with a good thing when you got something going right but then one day i was like nah like mess with it because it might be better right like do it so i uh, i tried sushi and it was like better for sure definitely better like everything about it was better you got like better portion sizes i'm not necessarily saying bigger just better portion sizes sometimes it's smaller and i'm like yeah that's that's what i want i don't want like that much you know i don't want to you have to pay for it right so you get to like pay less get less and it's like yeah that's what i want like i'm, I'm one person i don't need you know an enormous amount to like when you order from from sushi uh, you can buy uh nigiri by the uh like individual so i can buy like one singular piece of tuna on top of a thing of rice whereas if i order from akami you have to buy two at a time and i'm like but i don't always like want two of like each one i might want like a salmon and an octopus or something you know but uh, from akami i'd have to buy two of each and then be like well i guess i'll just uh, eat too much today i guess maybe or you know just more realistically just not order any um Where am I going? Where am I going? Where are we? Hello? Have you checked your ammo? Anyway, um <clears throat> got some like messing my throat up, dude. Rock and roll. I've got uh So I've I've uh oh my god, I'm like so bad at explaining this right now. So there's two sushi restaurants, Akami, Sushiya. I like Sushiya more. But I thought Akami was fine. Yesterday I ordered Akami. Um and it was just like worse and it wasn't worse than i remember akami doing it was just like i had a sudden realization that it just doesn't compare to sushiya just on like every front like my favorite role is, uh, is a cucumber roll a kappa roll as uh, as it's called everywhere i go i don't know if kappa means cucumber i i, I believe it doesn't um but it, it might uh, I, I i believe it's like a weird like lake troll thingy um, but I don't know uh, anyway I always order that and even that which is literally just rice wrapped in seaweed and with cucumber in it even that from sushi just tastes better like if you take out the cucumber it'll taste better just straight up the cucumber will taste better from sushi than acme and I'm like I don't know it, it's probably showing something about like the quality of their like ingredients and um, you know like where they're getting them from and how they're storing them and like using them and I'm like yeah just uh for me personally and they're like the second best around for sure like definitely without a doubt the second best sushi restaurant in my area um Acme but they're not the best and and they're they're not good enough to where I'm like if I can't get sushi I'll settle for Acme I'm like, nah, I'd rather just go for, like, grocery store sushi, because it's, like, way cheaper. And, uh, like, it's not as good, but at the same time, I'm like, yeah, but, like, I can't get sushi anyway, so. I, it, it, you know, I'd, I'd rather just go for something else, and if I'm like, I really need sushi right now, I just get, like, a cheap, you know, grocery store thing. I don't need to order, like, a fancy, you know, sushi platter or anything. But it kind of it kind of hit me when I was uh, when I was eating yesterday because it's like the miso isn't as good, the cucumber rolls aren't as good, the rainbow rolls, which are like one of my favorite uh, like fish rolls, um, not as good. Uh, rainbow rolls just like uh, um, like California roll with uh, topped with uh, different fish. Uh, from Sushia, it's like a bunch of different fish. You get an assortment. Like you don't know what fish you're getting before you get it. You could get like tuna. Shrimp, mango, avocado, salmon, mackerel, squid, octopus. Like, you get whatever the heck you want, or whatever they want at the time. You know, whatever whatever they've got, they'll just toss it on the on the top. And I, I really like that, because there is not a singular, like, thing that you would get that I don't like. I don't like the mango so much on the, on the sushi, personally. I, I typically take that off, but... You know, it's not an always thing, and uh, it's not even that bad. Not my, not my favorite, but uh, from Akami, it's it's like only 
Uh, mackerel, salmon, and tuna, I think. And it's the same every time. I'm like, it's just... I'd rather just have that, that like, assortment, you know? It's just, it's nicer. It's it's a very rich sushi roll, though. Um, they're, like, barbecue eel isn't as good. And again, like, they're, like, the second best. They're just not even comparable to, to, to sushi, in my opinion. And also... Sushi draws little pictures on the boxes. So when you get it, you get like a... Before Christmas, we were getting like little reindeers, you know, drawn on it. And now we're getting like hearts and Happy New Year's drawn on it and stuff. And it's just cute. It makes me like, yeah, I want to buy this stuff, you know? This cat's it's a marketing scheme, but dang it, it works. So I'm just like, yeah, I don't know. Like if, 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 if Sushi hasn't opened, then it's just a good excuse for me to like... Make something at home. <laughs> just get off my butt and make something, you know? Cause it's uh, it's not it's not as good, not even remotely, which uh, which sucks. Cause it used to be my favorite, you know, and they definitely have more convenient hours. Um, but it's 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 I just I can't uh, I can't justify eating mid-range sushi, you know. I mean sushi is kind of mid-range sushi too, but like for the area, you know what I mean. It's either I'm going to go for some low, cheap stuff, or I'm going to go for, like, the good stuff, you know? Like, there, there's no in-between when it comes to sushi. I used to think there was. There isn't. I've, I've changed my perspective on that. I'm either going to go for cheap stuff that's cheap, and not that great, but is still sushi. Or I'm going to go for, you know, fairly expensive stuff that's much better. There's no reason to go in between, in my opinion. Unless you're going, like, out for for dinner or something like that. If you're going, like, to the restaurant, sure. If, you, if you're having people over and you want to have, like, a sushi dinner or something like that and they're the only ones that are open, yeah, I wouldn't complain, you know? But, like, bruh, it's COVID. I ain't having people over and I ain't going to any restaurant. So. I don't think we got any scrakes. We got one flesh pound in the last round and then, like, three scrakes this time, right? Two rounds and all we get is a flesh pound and three scrakes. That's it. For, for like both of that that's crazy I feel like that's way lower than it should be maybe I'm wrong but I, I feel like it's way lower than it should be oops um killing a is never easy but you did it well we do have a Glock. We should be able to win. Very good for you? Definitely was a mistake to hit skip trader before the, I actually got to the trader and like did my trading and stuff, you know? That was definitely a, uh, a mistake. I don't think anybody's denying that. <laughs> Oops. We should, we should still be able to win this though. This should still be very winnable. There's like ammo crates everywhere, and we do have the Glock. Okay, we're gonna have to, to book it, I think, at this point. Let's toss out needs. Maybe get a little bit of damage off. Mm, this isn't super great. Okay. We should be able to win this. This should be winnable. I think. I, I have to focus for this, okay? I'm sorry for the, the poor commentary here. This is a, a battle, okay? Oh, that was close. Nice. Alright. Who needs to visit the trader for the boss, right? Who needs it? Not me. I don't need it. That's for that's for wimps. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Anyway. I like sushi. It's the moral of the story, okay? I'm a fan of sushi. If you put sushi in front of me, I'm going to be like, Oh, wow, thank you. This is my favorite. How'd you know I wanted it? But that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say. It doesn't have to be about the video. How was your day? What's your feelings about sushi? What's your favorite food? I don't know. Just leave a comment. It doesn't matter. It's just for the, you know, for the engagement. To, to 
See you next time. Bye-bye.